Well, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but if that's Riley Morgan in that photograph, who the hell are you? I'm Riley Morgan. Well, I'm gonna need a better explanation than that. Like I told you, I was with Adam when he died. And what does that have to do with this? Everything. I mean, we were in the same abandoned building when the bomb went off. Adam was buried and, and somehow I was pulled out alive. I was horribly burned. My face, parts of my body. What? I mean, I was, I was taken to the, the Army's burn unit. Not that I remember most of it. I was there for what seemed like days. And months later, when I was finally released, after the eight minute procedure, I was left with a, a new face and... knees. Oh my God. That's why the man in the photograph looks nothing like the man who's standing in front of you. Riley, I, I don't know what to say. Well, why didn't you mention any of this before? It seemed wrong. I mean, why should I complain? I'm alive. I thought I should just shut up and be grateful. I know what you mean. You do? When I got back from Vietnam, all I could think of was my buddies, the ones that didn't make it out of their life. And how do you grieve for people like that when, by some chance, you made it out of there in one piece? Listen, if you ever need to talk about this. No, I, I appreciate it. Thanks. I'd like you to accept my apology. There's no need to apologize. You know. Casey, I'm going to talk to you. What'd I do? You know exactly what you did. You sent Luke to talk to your father. You promised you weren't going to say anything. And technically, I didn't. You put your brother at risk. I, I wasn't the only one who knew Riley was hiding something. Luke saw the photo, too, from the VA. And, and, and it took a gentle little shove from you to get Luke to talk to your dad. He was worried about Noah. Noah is not in any danger from Riley, and you know it. Why are you so determined to protect this guy? Why wouldn't I? Be because he's turned you into an accomplice. Casey, he's your brother. I don't care! Look, he's suffered in ways that you don't even know. But he's committed crimes, and many of them, Mom. And you're, you're, you're just helping him? That's not like you. You please, find a way to get along with him. Because if I have to lose him again, just find a way. I talked to Casey. Well, what do you have to say for himself? Don't worry about him. Why? Because he is so angry with you, Adam. If he ever tries anything like this again, you I... You know, Mom, look, you're exhausted. Why don't you just go up and get some rest? What, are you trying to get rid of me? I'm trying to take care of you, like you used to take care of me. So please, right. do me a favor and go lie down. I will, I will, I will. I'll take you up on it, thanks. Okay. <sighs> we need to talk. What's there to talk about, bra? Why did you send Luke to talk to Dad? Uh, well, I think Dad has the right to know who you are, Adam. It's Riley now. Like, I give a damn. Have you ever stopped to think about what you're doing to Mom? Well, I, I'm not the one making her lie for me. Well, I never asked her to do that. Well, you're not making her stop either, so... You know what, Casey, if you have such a big problem with me, why don't you just tell Dad? Oh. Tell Dad everything and then just send me off to jail. And, and how great is that going to be for you, huh? So you, you'll act like the little victim all over again? Well, I'm not going anywhere, Casey. No kidding. You know, all I want is a chance to be part of this family again. But that seems to be up to you. So you know what? Just do me a favor and let me know when you decide. 